One more to go. One more to go. 521. Nice. That's okay. Supposed to keep it here. Yeah. The idea is not to push and then be dead. Yep. The idea is to finish strong but comfortable. Okay. This guy drinks coffee right before his run. <laughs> like, who does that? So what do we got on today, Lewis? We got uh, how many weeks till CIM now? Six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah, so okay. today is Saturday, six yeah. weeks out. Uh, doing one of my longest runs. Uh -huh. So I'm doing 23 miles. I think that's 37K. The idea today is not to run fast. Mm. It's just to complete the distance at a solid pace. Like if I can average like 550, 545 mm. mile, that's good. Uh, no need to progress or anything. Just maybe a little bit at the end. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing some rolling hills to kind of simulate CIM. Because yep. CIM, even though it's down, net hill down, like it still has some rollers. Yep. So I think it's good to practice that and then a little bit in the gym as well. Yeah. So I don't suffer the day of the race. Yeah, sure. So, Will you go out at a fast pace or? So uh, we're going to go out like low six and then hopefully get Pick in the 540s, 550s, yeah, something cool. like that. And so far, the build-up's been all smooth? So or? far, so good. I don't yeah. want to say it too loud, but no yeah. injuries, no pain, no nothing. Just having fun. And awesome. My mileage, like I said uh, in the last video, it's not that high. I'm going to be in the 100, 110, mm -hmm. which is very manageable for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy with it and yeah. enjoying the process, I guess. Yeah. So <laughs> excited for these next six weeks and then to race. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's get into this 23-miler. Uh, yeah, and today, Mark, it's going to... Help us a hey, little bit, give us some company. Mark ran for the University of Florida when I was running for Kentucky. Okay. So we're big rivals. <laughs> <laughs> we used to steeple together, so just uh, yeah. <laughs> imagine Luis steepling. It's, uh, it's great. So Mark is like 6'10 or whatever. <laughs> and he used to spike me. You know how people spike you on the shins? Yeah. He would spike my hands, and then my hands would be bleeding. Oh, and I was like, this motherfucker. <laughs> and, <laughs> so, secret weapon. After all that, you still invited him on a run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my secret weapon. <laughs> Are you training for anything at the moment, Mark? Or just uh, Yes, so yeah. I'm getting ready for US half champs. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do probably a structured long run today where I'll do 10 pretty easy and then go eight sort of tempo ish at the end. Okay. Um, I might change it just based on how I feel. If we're syncing up pretty well, mm -hmm. I could change it. But um, yeah, so just getting ready for that. I think I'm gonna pace Luis at Indy, uh, use that as kind of a big tempo effort, and mm -hmm. then uh, yeah, get ready for US half champs. So yeah. I'm excited for it. It'll be a good one. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Five thirty. Go out. First mile. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Just spiked up over here. Yeah. Ready to roll. <laughs> So how was the half last week? It was, we'll uh, let's go into how you felt on that and how it went down. Yeah, so it was good. I'm okay with the effort, but not perfect. Okay. So the idea was just to race and be competitive, not worry about time. And I did that. And I'm very happy with that because there were some fast canyons and we were pushing the pace. I was leading trying to break them. I was racing, so that was good. But then at mile 10, one of the Kenyans went really hard and I kind of lost him. And then I was telling Mark, I, I'm i missing that little extra push at the end where you have to race when it's like, all right, I'm hurting, but I still have to go a little faster. And I'm definitely missing that. And I think it's because I haven't raced that much. But, other than that, great effort, felt really good, I felt strong the whole way and felt confident, felt healthy, just missing the last part, the last push, and maybe a little bit of speed, which I guess is normal during marathon build-up. Yeah. So, the time ended up being slow, or slower than we wanted, it was 65. We were hoping for a 63 something. Okay. But I was focused on racing. Hmm. So 
So the time didn't really matter that much at the end. Yeah. Okay. Which side? And you're gonna do another one pretty soon with yeah. Mark pacing. So I'm doing Indy half. Yep. It's in two and weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And that one, Mark is pacing me to hopefully run fast. For that one, I definitely want to run under 63. So. Under 63. Yeah, yeah. If, if possible, like, yeah. I don't know how my legs are gonna feel with marathon training, but, so my PR is 63.09, and that's the national record. Mm -hmm. It would be amazing if I can run under. Yeah. If not, it's all right, but we're definitely gonna try. Yeah. <laughs> so Mark is gonna pace me, so that way I don't have to worry too much about anything else other than just, Staying with him, and then hopefully the last three miles actually push and race and run a little faster. Yeah. So let's see how it goes. So 14 days out from that, will you do another long run between now and that half? Yeah, for sure. Next weekend. Yeah, because marathon is a priority. Yeah. So I don't think we're gonna really taper for it. Okay. So this weekend we're doing a longer one, 23 miles. And I think next weekend it's 20, but like faster. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. Just passed through 5K. We're about 20 minutes, give or take. Yeah. How you got? How you guys feeling? I'm uh, feeling good. Yeah. It's uh, pretty nice out here. The wind calmed down, so yeah, that's nice. You know, it's like perfect weather. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I've gotten lucky the last two, three weekends. Yeah. Good weather. What are you hoping for at Indy, weather-wise? <laughs> well, <laughs> NCIM, for that matter. What would you prefer? Uh, so, I mean, I think, we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. I think that people are starting to find that colder weather compared to what is typically considered ideal conditions is actually ideal. So hmm. I'd prefer it to be closer to freezing for a half marathon. Uh, you know, like high 30s, yeah. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. You can always take clothes off and, you know, people are just racing faster and faster. So you just have more heat. I think, you know, it's normal normal rule of thumb is like 55 degrees but yeah I think closer to 40 uh, I've had some really good races in it I think we've seen some track races go off in late December early New Year and people just popped off crazy times mm. so I think we're gonna start seeing people target colder weather like look at the performances from Chicago a few years ago as contrasted to this year, yep. it's night and day. So I think it shows that colder, you can still run really fast and it's just more ideal. Yeah. So I like it like 45. Okay. I like wearing arm warmers and gloves. Yeah. If it gets warm, I'll take the gloves off. Yeah. But I also don't like it freezing. <laughs> then I'm like struggling to stay warm. <laughs> yeah. It's not the idea either. Yeah. So I would say 45. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, okay. but just colder than like people have yeah. historically thought. Yeah, people thinking more so. like 50, 55, I guess. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. You going to cross? You know. yeah. yeah. I like it 20 degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't feel my hands. <laughs> so I can't feel the pain. But dude, I mean, remember, and like, when we were in. Tennessee, it was like well below freezing when we started. I mean, yeah. It was really cold when we yeah. warmed up. But like, I guess it's if like it's still closer to freezing. Yeah. Zero wind, no humidity. I mean, that's what it is in Boulder a lot, like mid 30s and it feels great. Yeah. So, I don't know.
So we go straight? Yeah, yeah. And then we get on the well, back. We're into the normal loop. Yeah, we yeah. do. All the time. It's just been a while since. We've got a little hill here. You said before that you wanted to add some hills. Is CIM, I'm actually not too familiar, is it? How, yeah, hilly, so, how hilly is it? So, it's not <laughs> hilly because it's downhill it's supposed yeah. to. <laughs> yeah. But it has some rolling hills. Okay. So I've sent athletes there three years in a row. And I'm like, it's the fastest race. And then at the end they're like, yeah, it was fast. But it's like tricky hilly. So like watch out for the hills. Okay. And, but in three years, I've seen like 50 athletes and well maybe not 50 like 30 and they all have run a PR okay so everybody loves that course everybody really likes that race yeah. so this year I was like all right I'm going for a PR myself <laughs> but I do have to get ready for the little rolling hills yeah so this place here is perfect for that yeah and today you know, I just want to be running over two hours hmm. and nothing crazy. Today is not a show off workout or long run, but I feel like this is what we need yeah. more than running super fast. Yeah. Like a day that I can get a good effort and then be ready for a Tuesday workout. Yeah. What are you on Tuesday? I don't know what the workout is yet. Okay. Uh, we did five by mile on Wednesday after the race. And it's a workout where they were just supposed to do marathon pace, half marathon pace, 10K pace, half marathon pace, marathon pace. Okay. So it's tricky because the fast one is the third one. Yeah. And so I ran at 4.30, and then 4.40, and then 5 flat. Okay. So the hard part is the 4.30, yeah. and the 4.40, then you're pretty much done. Yeah. Um, what recovery between the miles? It was like two minutes. Yeah. So enough, good enough. Okay. I'm gonna say though, and I don't know what you think, Mark, unpopular opinion. And I know people are divided on this. I've been training a lot on the, with my Vaporfly. Mm. Yeah. I feel like I recover so much faster. Yeah, like, I do too, I think. Yeah. yeah, I think so. I can get this long run in, and sure, the shoes help me run faster. Mm. But who cares? And then tomorrow I'm already feeling good. Yeah. yeah. But if I was gonna run with my Pegasus, then, it takes me like two, three days to recover. Like yeah. my legs absorb all the pounding and I'm super tired and things start to hurt. Mm. But with these shoes, I can run two hours, fast pace, feel really good while riding yeah. and then feel comfortable the next day mm -hmm. and yeah. recover. I mean, I think it probably makes the pace like five seconds easier at a long run pace. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think we've observed that in training between like, when a few of us have run together, someone will be doing like a tempo for part of it. They're in vapor flies. Everybody else are in trainers. And you can just tell there's like a pace that switches over to uncomfortable for the people in trainers. Yeah. And it's still, smooth yeah. for the vapor fly. We're running fly. 545 uphill and I feel pretty good <laughs> with these shoes. So, so Morgan mentioned in another video that he thinks sometimes it's good to be sore though. Yeah. Like there's benefit in actually feeling that fatigue the next day. So I guess there's a balance there with... For sure. Yeah. And I really like his vision of I prefer to run slow or slower times yeah. and just hurt yeah. and just work hard like old school style I like it, I love it I think it's great but I'm talking more 
on the recovery part. Yeah. When you're training for a marathon, running 110, 120 miles, whatever, it helps a lot. Yeah. So it might be cheating a little bit, <laughs> but whatever, I'll take it. Yeah. Really good. Even the running downhill. It's been a while since I do it. Mm. Yeah. 520s. You're at 520s now? Yeah, 27. Yeah. yeah. And we're about nine miles in? Yeah. Well, I'm 11 miles in because I yeah, yeah. did two warm up. Mm. And I'm too close to the last one. I think I'll be that's a cold down. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm probably just talking with you then. about to approach the hardest hill in Boulder. Okay. Or at least for me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ask Parker, he'll say what hill. Because he runs like five flat of these things. Mm -hmm. And it's two of them, back to back. Yep. You can't even see the second one. So when it gets you, it gets you. It's like a false flat at the top too. So I have nightmares with this now. <laughs> so it's right pretty much in the middle of this run. Yeah. We're at ten and a half miles I think. Yep, I want you there in. Yeah. Did you purposely plan the route so that the hills are in the middle or? Yeah. Yep. Just hills and downhills everywhere. Yeah. Like CIM. Yeah. But also finishing downhill. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll get a little faster. Yeah. In the end. Hopefully. Yeah, it cranks up. It's real nice. For me, I just have to survive to the top of the hills. <laughs> I'm a good downhill runner. Okay. So here it is. Well, he's one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure in the camera it's not going to look that bad. No, right. it doesn't do it justice. It is, <laughs> no, it is pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Just get a video of me puking at the end. <laughs> the one with the hill. Was that the second one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, the second one was a little smaller, but still, <laughs> it came straight after the first, so... Yeah. yeah. It's quick, it's just very steep. Yeah. Is that a 540, last one? Yeah, 540 after the hill. 14 miles for me. Oh, nine to go. Uh -huh. Can you keep it around this pace? Yeah. Yeah. Five forty, five thirty. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay. I don't know why it's written here. <laughs> Once to get down to four something. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you might put the big chain rings on going downhill, but. So, I've trained with 
Parker and Dan Nestor and Luis Lott. And I'd argue a couple of those guys are the best, some of the best uphill runners I've trained with. And so just brutal getting to the top of that hill set. And then I'm really efficient downhill. So I'd always have to just survive <laughs> my long runs. And then I can just open it up yeah. and just stride. Not me, I'm dying going up. <laughs> Going, going down. <laughs> Are we going right? Yeah, yeah. Just... You're always in survival mode. Always oh, survival. Just trying to make it. <laughs> Not a little hill here? Yeah. No. Mile 530. We're heading back to Tom Watson now. What are you consuming during the run, as in gels and fluid? Do you yeah. have an exact plan or is it just how you feel? Yeah, the exact plan is going to be uh, more 10, every 10k okay. with water and then every 5k Gatorade okay. or whatever drink they have okay. in the course to make it easy. Today I ran out of gels. So I'm taking different kinds and I have this kids drink, what is that called? Like, what is it? Pedialyte. Like. Yeah, like Pedialyte like kind of thing. Okay. Want me to say? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's time for me to be smart because Mark is starting to pick it up. But I'm supposed to stay in the 530 range. Mm -hmm. So, but everything in my body tells me to go with him. Yeah. But gotta be patient. Be patient. Gotta be smart. Yeah. Five twenty, sixty miles in. Mm. Uh, eight to go, I think. Yeah. Seven to go. Miles, 524 last mile. Yeah. So six to go. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling good. 23. Feeling pretty comfortable with this pace. Uh, with the pace, yeah. Yeah. It's just knowing that I still have six miles. Yeah. And I've been running for 17. Yeah. Makes me mentally tired. Yeah. But that's why I'm doing it. Yeah. To conquer that. Yeah. Be on my feet for over two hours. Yeah. Running at 5.30s or whatever. Yeah. Morning. 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 Alright, I'm moving to Colorado. Good job! You too! miles, 524, 5 to go. Get a bit of a hill coming? Yeah. That's what you wanted. <laughs> That's the goal for today. Yeah. Hills, hills, and hills. Yeah. So. Nice job. Me too. I'm gonna run here. 
compromise me getting dropped by the Tin Man. This is the Tin Man Hill? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't keep up with that. <laughs> or I always do but because I was gonna run with Mark. Yeah. So your watch is normally in kilometers? Yeah. Yeah. I find it more rewarding to get that beep. <laughs> more <laughs> more splits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I can do miles too. Yeah. It's fine. How long have you been living in Boulder for now? Uh, Five years, four or five years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I moved here for the Rio Olympics. Yeah. So, whatever, however long that is. Yeah. About five years ago. At this point in my run, it's hard to do the math. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, 540. Nice. Up the hill. Very good. Uh, 19 miles. an actual brain disorder or what is happening but I can't remember people like people's faces like I'm always saying like hey nice to meet you and people are like what we know each other we run together <laughs> and I'm like oh fuck and I don't want to sound like a bad person I just I don't remember them yeah so I find that interesting because you remembered a lot of specific things I talked to you about last video, like my own training and stuff. So your memories are really yeah, no. decent in some way. <laughs> my memory is sharp. Yeah. And I work with a lot of athletes and I know their PRs. Yeah. I know what they're training for. It's just the, the face. Right. Like I have so much trouble right. with that. You have trouble rem remembering faces and names. Yeah. yeah. And those guys back there all, all seem to know you. Yeah, most and of them. I have no idea. <laughs> that always happens. And I feel like a bad person, but I legit don't know. Yeah. Don't remember faces. Yeah. I told you some splits of some workouts I've done recently. You remembered them all, so I was impressed yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have a sharp mind. With the, just, with the numbers, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just the face. Yeah. Maybe it's because I'm blind. <laughs> Can't really see that well. <laughs> this is the last hill. It's yeah. not steep, but it does go for a while. It's like a one mile up hill. Yeah. So, survive and finish. Yeah. I've been running good. Yeah. Like 530s, 520s. Yeah. So, yeah. my pace might slow down a bit here, but okay. I'll pick it up on the other side. Yeah. You joked before about wanting to do some uh, some basic mathematics at the end of your run to see if you can work it out. All right, let's How do you it. feeling about that? <laughs> let's do it. I'm almost at 22 miles. Okay. It's nine times eight. I did that with my fingers. <laughs> 72. There we go. 10 plus 12 plus 10 plus eight. Say it again. 10. Plus 12, plus 10, plus 8. 
40. Nice. Oh, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> three times, three times, three. Is that 27? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, good one. You're doing all right. All right, let's keep it going. <laughs> one mile to go. One mile to go. 521. Nice. Okay. Supposed to keep it here. Yeah. The idea is not to push and then be dead. Yep. The idea is to finish strong but comfortable. Okay. So 545 average. Yeah. That's kind of what I was looking for. Yeah. Probably the first three four miles were a little slow. Yep. So it kind of misses the average. Yeah. But so 545 and then I did two mile warm up. Yeah. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cool down. Yeah. Almost a 24 mile day. So yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. what I wanted. Like not kill it. Run comfortable at a 5.40, 5.30 pace. We were running 5.20s at the end. So, solid. Yeah, would that be your longest run? Or? What? Would that be your longest run? Uh, I might do one more of 24 maybe, but I think that's about it. Okay. So, now getting ready for Indy half. Yep. Hopefully we run a PR. Yeah. But if not, it's fine. Like the plan is the marathon. Yeah. I obviously want to run a good half because there's also a PR will be a national record, and yeah. that's always nice. Mm -hmm. But it's not the main goal of the year, so we'll see. Yeah. It's cool now? Yeah. 